This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. I bet it has to do with variables at the top of a program because that's what we just read about. This program should buy, I like they put that in quotes, an apple every time the apple is clicked, but it doesn't seem to be working. So guys, cautious here. You're not actually buying an apple when you click this uh, fake program in uh, code.org app lab. Just, just let you know. All right. Anyways, so buy an apple every time that it is clicked. It doesn't seem to be working. Why not? I want an apple. Wait, wait, uh, apple. I've, I've been, oh, ah, non, we have no references. Uh, stay with me. We'll explain. I'll explain. Run the code. See how it works. Debug the scope issue. Scope means something, well, out of scope. Think about it if you were hunting, of course, uh, like gummy bears, because we're nice. Uh, if you were hunting and your something is out of your scope, you can't see it. It's, it's not available to you. And that's what happens with functions if i make a variable like dollars here or i make a variable hello equal to zero this variable is inside this function so unless i am running by apple i can't ask the computer here to counsel log this i can't say hey why don't you put hello on the screen what's hello equal to it has no idea what i'm talking about it says hello i don't know because I'm not in this function. My, this only exists in the function, right? And that's what they were just explaining. Run the code to see how it works. Debug scope issues. So it's telling us right now dollars. What's this say? Dollars is defined, but it's not used. Okay, why isn't that used? Let me scroll down here. Oh, look. So in by Apple, I make this new variable called dollars. And that means it's going to ignore the previous variable up here. Because it's declared in the function, that's all it's going to see. I then make another variable called apples. Apples is already defined. Hmm. It caught apples, okay, but it's confused about dollars. Both of these are already defined way up here. So, and that's good. We want to declare variables at the top. If we want to edit them, if we want to change their amount, set their value to something else, we don't need to say var. We just use the variable itself. So that looks better. And that way we'll be adding these variables up here so other parts of the program can see that. Speed this up. Okay, I have five on my wallet. I have zero apples. Now I have one. Woohoo! I have, I had one apple. Now I have two. Look at all my apples. I'm an apple billionaire. It lets me go negative. Well, ooh, if I invested in apple stock. Anyways, all right, that looks good. Cool. Just be careful with variable declaration. This is called a global variable, and that means everything in your code can see it in the program. All right, let's keep going.